Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to create a user and associate that to a particular group. So we had created this OCI user 001 and we had associated that to a user group. Uh, we have logged in uh, to our OCI console with the help of that zero uh, OCI 001. Uh, let me go to this, go to this VCN and click on this virtual cloud networks. Now I will go to this compartments child 001. Now if I select on this create VCN, it tells the authorization failed. It won't allow me to create a VCN if you try. Okay, uh, I will uh, create instance uh, first child 001. Uh, for example, I will give this header block, keeping everything as uh, same. Now it shows as authorization failed or requested resource not found uh, because uh, we have not added the policies to our uh, uh, user group and uh, this is not having enough privileges. For that, uh, what we have to do is we have to go back to our identity and click on this uh, policies and we have to select this uh, OCI learning 112 uh, root create the policy over here uh, I'm giving the name as OCI uh, user group policy uh, I'm at, uh, giving uh, adding this compartment to child 001 I'm switching over to this uh, show manual editor so uh, we'll go to this documentation over here uh, from there are a few examples uh, available that is allow group uh, to manage virtual network family in the compartment so we'll copy this uh, go over to here so in place of this one uh, we'll give this compartment name here we'll give the uh, group name that is learning uh, users group click on create uh, description will provide uh, OCI uh, user group policy uh, click on the create button over here okay uh, we have added the policy uh, for the group learning users to manage a uh, virtual network family in the compartment child uh, 001 so now I uh, will go over here we'll refresh this uh, as you can see we are not no more getting that authorization uh, issue uh, we, we should be able to create the VCN click on the create uh, I'm giving some name over here uh, example I'm giving this cedar block uh, keep everything as a default and click on create VCN as you can see uh, we are able to create the VCN over here uh, like this we can uh, control the access uh, for a particular uh, group or the user with the help of these policies uh, and uh, if you come over uh, to VCN and uh, switch over to this uh, root compartment again uh, we are seeing this authorization failed so uh, with the help of uh, these policies uh, we can restrict the access to the particular user or group uh, to a resource in a OCI so by default everything is uh, denied we have to uh, write this policy and enable the uh, access for that particular user or group thank you for joining this video